Good morning. I received my QMX, uh, pre-built QMX in the mail yesterday. This one is for 20 through 80 meters. And I've been reading on the QRP Labs I.O. group about the thumping that occurs during CW transmission. So that was one of the things that I was anxious to check out on this one. And uh, true to what many people say in the current thread on that topic, the thumping is worse on the low bands and not so much on the high bands. And that's what I've noticed here. It's pretty much negligible on 20 meters, but it's very, very obvious on 80. And uh, the other bands in between, as you go lower in frequency, the thumping becomes uh, progressively worse. But it's not so bad even on uh, 30 or 60 meters. So let me turn this thing on and give you a demo of what I'm talking about here. I'm going into a dummy load as you can see and I have a external speaker, powered speaker, that will be producing the audio. So on 20 meters, you can hear it if you listen for it. Actually it is a little obvious. But it's not so bad. I mean, that would be okay for me for something like a POTA activation. I don't know if a long QSO would become irritating with that thumping or not. But that's 20 meters, and that's the uh, least affected band. Let's go to 80, which is the worst. to 60. Big difference between 80 and 60 meters. 80 is very bad, 60 not so much. Let's go to 40. Actually I think 40 is better than 20 was. 30. A little worse. back to 20 meters. Actually, I think 40 is the best band. Hans is working on this, uh, G0UPL. He's uh, mentioned on the group that he's made fixing this problem his priority. So, uh, like I said, I think only for a QSO, an actual chat, this would be annoying on the lower bands, but for a POTA activation or something like that, which is what I usually do nowadays, um, it I don't think it will really bother me too much, and I plan on doing an activation later today, so uh, we'll see how that goes. 73, thanks for watching.